Today I'm going to make a vegetable pot pie using the 14 by 10 cast iron enamel pan. This pan is a beautiful presentation piece as well as great to serve a large crowd. It comes with a roasting rack so it's perfect for a turkey or roasting any of your meats. So let your olive oil heat up. Then I use the rapid prep mandolin to chop up all these vegetables that I'm adding in. So I added two cups of onions, two cups of sliced celery, let those cook for just a few minutes, then added two cups of chopped up carrots, also done in the rapid prep mandolin. Let those cook for about an additional three minutes, then add a teaspoon of sage and thyme, as well as some nice sliced garlic. I used about eight cloves in this recipe. Stir that around really good just to blend in all of the flavors with your, your vegetables. Next, I added both asparagus and fresh green beans. Just chop them up in about two inch pieces. Then I added three cups of sliced mushrooms, stirred that around and let it cook for about another three to four minutes, just until those mushrooms started to wilt a little bit. Next, we're gonna add one stick of butter, stir that around until it's nice and melted. Then I added one third of a cup of enrichable pro pea protein as well as one third of a cup of flour. I used the pea protein, the enrichable pea protein, as a thickener and reduced the amount of flour that I used. Next, I added three cups of vegetable broth. You can also use chicken broth as well as beef broth. This one I'm making is a vegetarian dish, but you could also add shredded chicken. Next, I put in a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and stirred that around until it was all nice and blended. Now for some additional nutrition, we added two cups of chickpeas as well as some edamame and stirred that around until it was nice and mixed in. Now it's ready for the topping. Looks pretty good. I used a puff pastry sheet that I just rolled out to a 10 by 14 square and then just stretched it across the top of the vegetable mixture. I preheated the oven at 350 and now it's ready to go in. It's gonna cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the top is golden brown. Bon appetit. This looks pretty delicious. Enjoy.